Okay, so I want everybody to just relax as we go into this July's full moon journey. Let's take a couple of deep breaths together in through your nose and out through your mouth and let's give it a big sigh at the end. <sighs> just releasing anything that's pent up inside of you, just let it go. Another deep breath in and out. <sighs> Good. Very nice. Now I'm just going to relax us by just mentioning different parts of the body and as I do just focus on it and then release any tension that you may be holding there. And let's start at the top of your head, your scalp, your forehead, your eyebrows, your eyes, eyelids, in your ears, your cheeks, part your jaw just a little, releasing all tensions that you may hold there. Beautiful. And your neck. Make sure that your neck is supported. And then release all tension being held there. Moving down to your shoulders. Wiggle them a little bit and then just let them droop down. Your arms, your fingers, shake them out a little bit. Get rid of some of that energy. Nice. And your chest. Feel the rise with each breath and the fall with each out breath. Know that you are breathing in beautiful white light. It is healing and releasing all old energy, old emotions, anything that's stagnant within you, just let it go. The air around you takes it right down to the earth and Mother Earth just cleanses all of this energy and makes it pristine and renewed. Now focus on your back, your upper back. Release the tension there in your belly, in your hips, your buttocks. Relax your legs, your thighs, your knees, abs and shins, your ankles, your feet and your toes, wiggle your toes, get rid of the last bit of energies that you want to release, like this is a time that you have to release whatever you want to let go of and breathe in beautiful healing white light. And now we're ready for the three to one count. So as I, as we all breathe in deep, I want you to visualize and say silently to yourself three, three times, getting softer with each time and then twos and then ones. And you can do it along with me. So let's take a deep breath in. Three, three. Deep breath in, two, 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 and another deep breath in, one, one, one. We are each now in a deeper state of mind, a clearer state of mind. And I would like for you to visualize a staircase that leads down to our heart space. And we know that when we get to the bottom, we will be in our meditation room and we will be visiting our lab, our healing room. So if you're ready, hold on to the handrail and I'm going to count us down from 10 to 1. 10, 9, 
nine, going deeper and deeper, eight, seven, deeper and deeper, six, five, four, deeper and deeper, three, two, deeper, and one. We are now at the bottom of the staircase. We see our quantum door, and here's our beautiful meditation room with our couch or our lounge. Our fire is there, and it's warm, and it's cozy, and it feels so comfortable to be here again. But we're going to go ahead into our lab. And we're going to either lay on our lounge or our healing table, whatever you see fit. So let's join me in there, each one of us. And get yourself comfortable with a pillow behind your head, maybe one under your knees. Maybe I will just put a little ice pack under my knee that is hurting me. So let's just get ourselves situated comfortable. You can put a blanket over yourself or not, depending on if you are cool or if you're warm. Turn the air conditioner on. This is your lab. You create it any way you see fit. Now as we're getting comfortable on the table and we are safe in our space, we are wrapped in a beautiful golden light and we ask our angel spirits, guides, beings of light, ascended masters, teachers, higher self, whoever you want to ask to come in to assist you, to work with you in healing your body, mind, and soul. This is a time when you can release whatever it is you need to let go of you can accept all the feelings you have, the good, the bad, and the ugly. Because really, in retrospect, they're all good and they're all necessary. And you can ask these higher beings to scan your body, to do hands-on healing. You can sit and talk with them. Whatever it is you need to do, but I am going to give you plenty of time to do what you need. Enjoy.
that feels just wonderful, a complete healing. I want you to thank your beings, your higher self, your angels, whoever you asked to assist you. Thank them. Show so much gratitude. Know that they are always with us. All we need to do is ask for their help and they will be there. So when you're ready, you can take a couple of deep breaths here and just sit up on the side of your table. Just get acclimated a little bit. Grab some water. Your lab is fully stocked with water or with whatever you need. And when you're ready, you can get off the table or out of the chair and go and sit behind your desk. The big desk that has the two computer screens in front of it and sit in your big business chair. Right? That chair has all of the bells and whistles that it needs. It has buttons and it, it does whatever it is you program it to do. So we're gonna sit at this desk and notice that the two screens in front of you, they're covered with a black velvet cover. Go ahead and uncover both of them. Now the screen on the right is your manifesting screen. That's the screen where you're going to create and you're going to dial it in to save it. The screen on the left is your deletion screen. So anything that you create that you want to then delete, just swipe left, push it over to the screen on the left, and that will delete whatever it is that you want to get rid of. So we're going to start really easy, very simply. I would like for you to create, imagine on your screen, a piece of fruit that you especially love. It could be a lemon, like Mickey talked about. It could be an orange, or an apple, or a banana. Whatever fruit feels right to you, create it on that screen. See it completely. And when you can visualize it on the screen, I would like for you to take your left hand and reach into that screen and hold it in your hand. So I'm going to use an apple as my example. So I have an apple and I'm now holding it in my left hand and I can see it and I can hold it. It is cold and very firm. Like squeeze my squeeze your fruit and I can't smell it yet because the skin on it is complete so you have utensils there whatever you need you can grab if you have a banana just peel it if you have an apple grab your little paring knife and just cut a little piece out of it and I'd like for you to smell that smell of your fruit. If it's, a, if it's a lemon or an orange, just peel off that zest a little bit and smell the beautiful crisp smell of your fruit. You can actually take a bite of your fruit. A nice bite of my apple. Is your mouth watering? Mine is. How real is this? So we can smell our fruit. We can taste our fruit. We can feel it in our hand. And it is real. Now we can put it back on the screen. And you can choose to save it, dial it in, or you can swipe left to let that go whatever you see fit. The next thing that I would like for you to imagine on that screen is the first thing that bubbles up to you. 
Is it a feeling? Is it a memory of a place or a person? Whatever it is, imagine it on that screen on the right. Now you can interact with that beautiful memory, whatever it is. And then you can dial it in and save it. Now let's dial into a blank screen. And I would like for you to put up an event that maybe wasn't so happy and maybe you didn't like the outcome and visualize it on the screen on the right. See what it is that you didn't like about it. And you can visualize yourself walking through that scene and changing it. Changing that scene to something that is more suitable for you, a better outcome, the outcome that you wish had happened. And I'm going to give you a few minutes to do this. Now that you've changed the outcome in your memory and it is as real as that piece of fruit that you just smelled and you tasted. You can dial in this new memory and save it. If you're still not happy with the outcome, you can just erase that memory by swiping left. It is entirely up to you. Do that now. Now I'm just going to give you time that you can imagine anything that you want on your screen. If it's memories that you want to let go of, or they could be memories that you want to change. Are there memories that you want to relive and then dial in and save them? Right? Those are the three things that we can do at this time. And know that when we change the past, our memories, it really does change. So I'm going to give us a few minutes to work on this with our screens creating, changing, saving, or deleting. Have so much fun doing this. Enjoy yourselves. I'll be back in a few minutes.
Now I hoped changing your creations, saving them, redoing them has worked for you. And I want to make sure that each one of you remembers exactly what we did and know that you can visit this place anytime you wish and you can create and you can change the past you can experience from a different point of view um, any memory any new event that you want to create right? we are the creators and this was just a small example of how we could create change those creations and interact with those creations you can spend all the time that you want but i hope it has worked well for you now make sure that you either save or delete the last thing you were working on and when you've completed that cover up your screens again so that they're nice and safe for the next time that you visit them beautiful So now you can stand up and you can take a deep breath in and out. We are so relaxed and we are so healed and we are amazing creators. We are creating a good life. We are creating good memories. We are creating our own reality. So now it's time to come back to the here and now. And I am going to count to five. And on the count of five, you are going to open your eyes, be wide awake, feeling wonderful all over, just like you've had a wonderful nap. But you're going to remember all of your experiences. You're going to remember your healing. You're going to remember your creations. And I would like for you to say to yourself, every day, in every way, I am getting better and better. And when things happen in your life that maybe hurts you or bothers you or disturbs you, we can use the Ho'oponopono prayer and say, I am sorry. Please forgive me. I love you and thank you. And with those two affirmations, we are all set to come back to the here and now. Again, I'm going to count from one to five. And on five, you are going to open your eyes, be wide awake, feeling rested and wonderful. One, two, you're coming up very nicely. Three, four, you might want to stretch a little bit. And five, eyes wide open, feeling wonderful all over. And I have to say thank you for joining me on this journey of creation. I'll see you in just a moment.